I think I heard my guide's voice. Is it possible I'm actually learning to tune in? Can you see them, Crystal? Yes, of course it's possible <laughs> that you're learning to tune in. This comes very naturally when you start doing spiritual work. When you start leaning into your spirituality and learning more, reading books, hanging out in the lab, hanging out with other spiritual people, pursuing your spiritual pass passions, the opening of these faculties happen effortlessly. That's what Christ meant when he said, seek first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. Good things like relationships, like money, like health, but also abilities, spiritual gifts. You will find, oh, all of a sudden I'm clairvoyant. That's because I've been focusing on my spiritual connection and also on my high vibration. So of course that's possible. Um, this would be a faculty called clairaudience. Clairaudience means to hear in the world of spirit. Wouldn't surprise me if, in addition to hearing this voice, you would hear other voices in the future, especially if you don't startle too much when you receive that. And also that you might be hearing tones, frequencies, sounds, even music at this time, if you paid attention to it. A good exercise to build your clairaudience is to go outside, like in a park or something, sit on a bench and just listen. At first, it sounds like one big symphony or, or coalescing of sounds and noises. But as you lean into it and start picking everything up, you'll see there's very definite separate streams of sound. Sound, again, being energy and a conveyance of energy. And as you sit with the sounds and you go through the different streams, ah, oh, that's the bird. And then you lean into that and you go, oh, ah, that's a crow and that's a cardinal, different streams. And then you hear the traffic and you hear the horn and you hear the street and you hear the bugs and you hear the people and you just sit with all the sounds, leaning into it and paying attention to it, sifting through it, differentiating between the various types of sound. This builds your clairaudience. It primes you to be able to hear different streams of sound. And so when spirit starts to come through with things like frequencies and tones and indeed music, you'll be able to pick it up because you've trained yourself to listen to streams of sound. And so what you want to do tonight, Ali, when you go to bed and everybody's quiet and it's just you and it's dark and everybody's sleeping, listen. Listen and see what you can hear. Maybe you'll hear crickets. Maybe you heard the traffic. Maybe you'll hear your husband's snoring, <laughs> maybe you'll hear a lot of things. Just stay with it and start to, with your awareness, your consciousness, poke around the different streams of everything that you're hearing. Separate them first and then start looking around these streams because just beneath the mundane sounds of the world, your snoring, your cat purring, crickets, there is a hum. There's a hum there that's for everybody. And this is what we call the music of the spheres. The music of the spheres is the literal sound of dimensionality. Our dimension emits a sound because it's all energy moving around and that's going to emit a signal or a frequency. This 3D dimension issues a sound that other dimensions can hear likewise. When we are paying attention and really leaning into our faculties with Claire Audience, we'll start to hear the sound of the other dimensions and there's different frequencies we can pick up and tones ringing in the ears. Often, we can also begin to make out what sounds like music. It doesn't have to be a choir of angels and symphonic. Sometimes it sounds like jazz. Sometimes it sounds like somebody scatting in the other room when I'm listening because they're spirits and I'm picking up on different dimensional things. But playing around at night with the various streams and looking around them for the additional sounds will help you to also grow your clair audience. Having an intention around this will additionally grow your clair audience. Let spirit know, hey, I heard that. Somebody just called my name. Right on. Do it again. I'm open to it. Talk to me. Let them know that you want to meet them where they are and that you want to build this function. And spirit will help you to build that function. So that's cool. Um, I hear voices, <laughs> not all the time, but every now and again, I will hear actual voices. Like I would think if somebody were around me, they would have heard that too. And sometimes like my daughter will have heard it too. I heard my father talk to me a few months ago as I was walking from one room to the next, and I had forgotten his voice. He's been dead since 95. But <laughs> clear as a bell, I heard, I heard my, my dad. I've heard Jeremy talking to me in the house when I'm alone and he's in another state, but it was his voice, and I definitely think he was bilocating tonally, like he was talking to me in his head, and I heard it in my environment. 
I've actually picked up conversations that I heard with my ears that people were having in my neighborhood. Like things can get crazy out there. And if you're okay with that and you want that, ask for it. That is how you will grow it. Hey everybody, I just wanted to end by inviting you to my free online spiritual community called The Lightworkers Lab. If you're interested in finding your spiritual tribe, go to thelightworkerslab.com. Check us out, learn what we're about, and learn how you can join. Or just go to Facebook and search The Lightworkers Lab and ask to join. I also wanted to mention that every couple of months I offer an in-depth or a comprehensive spiritual or metaphysical class. And if you're interested in taking your spirituality and your connection to a whole new level, go to crystallinecompton.com slash spiritual hyphen classes. Check out what's coming up and join if you are so inclined. And to everybody, I just want to say that I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. God bless.